thoughts on the game as a whole? I thought we got outplayed every aspect. I thought we had uh, we were decent for the first ten minutes, and uh, from that point on, I thought we were gassed. We couldn't uh, we couldn't generate any. I mean, we had a hard time getting the puck out of our zone, breaking the puck out of our zone. Uh, you know, they they were able to get pressure situations out of situations that weren't pressure situations where where we just couldn't get back and handle the puck, handle the puck and make a play. So. Um, our guys have been on a good run, played a lot of hockey lately, and and uh, we're just gonna we'll turn the page on this one. Give the guys a couple of days off and and turn the page. We didn't have, you know, we had uh, high turnovers and three sh three shots at home in the third period, um, two scoring chances in the second period. I think is what it was or something like that. So I think one of them I think was a goal. I'm not sure. No, they weren't. I think we scored both in the first, right? So yeah. um, we didn't do much through through the last forty. The second half of the game seemed to be, it looked like either fatigue or some bad puck luck or a combination of both. Um, did you notice that or was it more of just... Oh yeah, we, we noticed it. We couldn't, we, you know, we just wanted to get the puck in and get the puck deep in their zone. We, we had trouble gaining the red line and we had trouble getting the puck in and, and trying to establish a four check and, you know, they beat us to every puck and easily got out of the zone and and we beat them to pucks in our zone and, and didn't easily get out. So, um, you know, I thought I thought... Coaching to everything, we we were just absolutely dominated in tonight's game. Um, you know that was a that was a you know we were soundly, in my opinion, hand, handed handled by uh, Bowling Green. They were they were fresher and they competed much harder than we did. Uh, I think we got hit up pretty good on faceoffs on out um, every part of the game. Uh, with a game like this, what is it that uh, they were doing so effectively, especially? Uh, in their forecheck that made life difficult for you? They, they all competed us. I mean, it, it's it's plain and simple. They, for, for whatever reason, that's not a knock anyway, but, you know, for whatever reason, whether just they all competed us. You know, we, they had extended periods of, of uh, play in our zone at, um, as they did last night, and oftentimes that was where we had full possession of the puck and uh, just wanted to slow the game down and hope that no one came at us and tried to try to make a play. And other times, is you, you just we would just easily the first guy would get just easily beat by his guy, which means someone else has to take him, and the guy that's beat is behind the play now. So you're just playing catch up for, through that whole shift. So um, I didn't think individually we played well, and, I didn't, and collectively we didn't play well. I didn't think any line had legs, um, and I didn't. And our and our D certainly struggled with the puck. Um, and and didn't do a good job of obviously coaching and trying to come up with a way to to uh, offset that a little bit and and uh, you know and it, we we it, it showed in faceoffs and it showed in special teams like we had one power play I think on the night we weren't and I don't think there was anything that was even close to being called a penalty outside of that so we weren't putting any pressure on them and getting behind them and turning them and things like we were able to do a bit last night so um, we just thoroughly you know we're, I'm going to turn the page on this. Um, Get, pull pull some notes out from it and watch it, but I don't even know if we can evaluate our team properly on on this game because it wasn't a, you know we didn't just didn't have you know I know the guys they they wanted to pull the goaltender with uh, you know pull the goaltender and try to try to get that win being down two goals and you know I told them we had high turnovers through in in the second period and, and in the third period we couldn't get the puck deep um, and we only generated three shots through the third period and um, you know I thought it was. I thought maintaining, like coming out with that, with with the edge on the uh, Winter Carnival, was was more important than them having a chance to win. That was more important than, um, and you, you know, you can argue that and say, well, we're playing for the pairwise and things, but um, we couldn't even possess the puck in their zone. We couldn't get the puck deep in their zone. Um, there was no doubt in my mind to, to, with being down two goals, and some people probably question that. But being down two goals, you have to pull your goaltender with about three minutes left or so. So they pot an empty netter, and then who, then all of a sudden they score another one, and, and it's the winter carnival portion of it's tied, and then then we're totally dejected, you know. Then then we're we're totally our our, our you know momentum's totally lost. I'd rather right now they can be upset with me and say we didn't play, you know we didn't we we should play to win, but you know I, I just we couldn't even get the puck deep in the zone, you know we couldn't get the puck out of our zone. It was it would have been a recipe in my opinion for failure, and I'm I'm the last guy I'll pull the goal ten with ten minutes left, so. Um, I just didn't think we had anything tonight. I think you guys saw the same thing. Tonight's an oddity when it comes to tech hockey. This is our first regulation loss since December 4th. Mm -hmm. um, was any of that pressure felt by the team or anything like that? No. Or? No. T tonight, um, 
for whatever reason. We didn't have anything going out of, you know, Bliss's line had nothing. They took two penalties. Um, you know, they they didn't, they didn't and they're they're and and we need them to be going. And they didn't have legs tonight. And I, and our defense really struggled tonight. And you know, we were, we were behind the play the whole time. We didn't we weren't a, we weren't above and inside any of the play tonight. They were, and it wasn't that Bowling Green. I thought they played a really good game, but they weren't particularly fast, or um, they just played inside of us. They got inside position on us everywhere in the ice all the time, and and uh, and like I said, we we'd go back, and you know, it always seemed like someone pushed a button and made the puck pop or something every time we went back for a puck because we bobbled it all the time. Nothing was clean. Normally, you see our D, uh, you know, our D taking the puck and and creating offense for us, and we didn't have. Only maybe a couple, maybe two or three times in the entire game, we had that type of uh, situation going, and they always had numbers back. They always so so they're aggressive on the four check, and then they were they had numbers back. So the whole, you know, every there 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 wasn't there wasn't really. Uh, I thought Blake played really well, and other than that, I didn't think that any of us did a, uh, you know, including myself, did a very good job tonight. And again, we're, we're I, I'm not going to pull a lot out of that. I'm not going to sit and say, look at here, 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 here. We got to hope that these guys have shown that they can that, that they can play and that we'll get a rest and try to go back at a good Ferris team. You inserted uh, Corsia in the lineup tonight. What did you think of his game? I thought he was okay. You know, I don't. I didn't think he. I didn't think he drove. You know, drove much like anybody else. And maybe that was a victim of, of his lines and things like that. I didn't. I didn't think anybody, to me, looked like. You know, that we could. I didn't feel any. We could build around anything. I didn't feel we could build around anything where we could say, okay, where I could come back every third time with even an individual line or anything. I thought I didn't, you know, our turnovers were high, and I think our compete was low, and, and we had very low, very low possession time in the offensive zone. Um, and a lot of that was, you know, guys standing around and somebody else throwing a puck to an area hoping somebody will be there, and, you know, they just go and get it and, and put it out. So going into Ferris next weekend, we finally get back to a semi-normal schedule. Um, do you still plan on trying to have, I know you mentioned for this one we're going to have some rest days, but do you plan on trying to go back on track before we had our makeup games in terms of like a p preparing and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we're going to give them, uh, we'll, give, we'll take a couple days off. They need a couple days off. We were playing, you know, every third day at least for, for two weeks straight. I, mean, I don't know how many games, what do we play? Uh, eight, eight games, eight games in, in 16 days. In 16 days, and that's a, that's a you know, that's a grind. And it showed tonight. And it showed tonight. And the guys, you know, I, I know, like I said, I know they wanted, you know, give us a chance at the end, give us a chance at the end. But, um, you know, it's like Muhammad Ali going in against uh, Larry Holmes. You know, give me one more chance at the title. And, you know, and all of a sudden there comes a point where you feel sorry for him and say, throw in that towel and, and uh, get him out of there. So, you know, I, we had fight. I think the fight was in the guys, in their hearts, but it certainly wasn't in the way we played. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you.